Hey everyone, this is Trend Crave here, and in today's video, we're going to be going through the top 15 luckiest and most insane water bottle flip trick shots. And for some reason, a lot of you guys have been asking me to post this video. Don't know why, it's just a bunch of people flipping water bottles. Uh, I guess it's uh, one of those trends or fads these days. My guess is that this water bottle flip craze is going to die down here soon. Uh, just like every other single meme or challenge type thing that spreads like wildfire on the internet, it's no different. But hey, guess what? I it doesn't mean I'm not going to not capitalize on it while it's going fucking crazy and get some of those easy views. Before we actually get into this list, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm doing two giveaways. One is a smaller one, and all you have to do is subscribe and turn on that little bell notification thing next to the subscribe button. If you do that, you have a chance to win a $50 Amazon gift card. I'm announcing the winner on Saturday. Uh, and the bigger giveaway that I'm doing just is a bunch of stuff. I'll leave a link to it down in the description. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this top 15. And in the number 15 spot, we have How Ridiculous, and I thought this one was actually pretty crazy. Basically, what he did was he put the water bottle on top of a basketball, and then he dropped the basketball, and it kind of like bounced off of it onto a table and landed... Uh, of course, upright, because that's the whole fucking point of the video, but, yeah, he here it is. Yeah. Moving on to number 14, we have Derek Girard, and he was doing some trick shots. Uh, at some point, he decided, you know what, I'm gonna throw this out of my window from my house. And, you know, second try, he actually got it. So that, that's actually pretty cool that he got it that quickly. But it was a Gatorade bottle instead of, like, an actual full-on water bottle. At least I think that's what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and assume that that larger base probably makes it a bit easier to do this. I'm not going to ask for confirmation from you guys because uh, if I do, what's going to happen? Let me tell you. Uh, I'm going to get, like, 6,000 comments from 12-year-olds named Jimmy who just comment, like, a full fucking six-paragraph paper with MLA citations about how, how it makes it easier to do this because they've tried it with their friend uh, Buck. Uh, down the street or something like that. Head on over to number 13, we have one that probably requires a decent amount of focus. There are these two guys on a skateboard, and one of the guys had a water bottle. He, while both of them were moving, decided to do the water bottle flip onto the other guy's skateboard, and he got it perfectly. I can tell you already I wouldn't be able to do this one, because I honestly look like a beach whale on a skateboard. I can ride a longboard to a certain extent in a straight line and not very fast, but fuck. Moving on to number 12, we have Andrew Schrock, and he and a friend were messing around with one of those really big water bottles. I don't know what they're called. I know there's a name for it, but I can't remember it. They're like the ones that are used at offices and you get cups for and you, you drain it into the cups. I don't, I don't know. Stop making fun of me. I know you are right now in your head. That was, that was like perfect. How did that feel? That Andy's not... face when you <laughs> did it though is the best thing ever. <laughs> yeah. In the number 11 spot, we have a channel called That's Amazing, and this kid did 10 water bottle flips in a row. Now, I know you're sitting there saying, oh, Trend Crave, that's not impressive, okay? Uh, well, he did these upside down, so instead of landing on the base of the water bottle, he landed on the cap, which is a lot fucking harder if you didn't know, because it's much smaller. Moving on to number 10, we have Michael Luzzi, and he did a crazy bottle flip on his scooter, and the bottle was on his scooter uh, at the beginning, so look for that because it is a bit hard to see because it's going a bit fast, and you, it kind of blends in, to be honest with you, but uh, you'll see it fly up in the air when he goes up the ramp, and it will land, obviously. Oh! <laughs> 
Heading on over to number nine, we have Dude Perfect. And these guys are very, very well known for this kind of stuff. Uh, any trick shots in general, fucking any sport, basketball, football, these guys are great with this. So they're in their element when they're doing this type of thing. But this one that they did is called the Super High Skinny Rail Foot because they're trying to get it on a really small rail way above their head. And obviously this is going to take a lot of precision and it's probably one of the harder ones that I've seen because they have such a small space to land on. This is the super high skinny rail flip. We can be heroes. Yes. In the number 8 spot, we have Niga Higa, and he did an ultimate water bottle flip challenge with his friends, and they tried to act super unenthusiastic about it the whole time, which I thought was pretty funny because most of these other trick shots, whenever they, uh, these guys get them, they just flip the fuck out. These guys just act like they don't even care. But what I'm really wondering about this one is how many tries this took, because there's five different guys with two water bottles. You'll see what I mean here in a second, but I just feel like if I was in this situation, I'd fuck up so much. Moving on to number seven, we have Tanner Browngard, and he did something insane on the trampoline. Uh, I don't think he even expected this to happen because I think he was trying to get it to flip off the trampoline and go up uh, and do the flip, but it, it ended up being kind of like a fail, but then that fail turned into a complete and total win. You'll see what I mean here in a second. Oh my God, no freaking way. No freaking way. It just freaking jumped off the roof and literally landed sideways. Oh my freaking god. Oh my god. No, why can't I not gotten that in frame? Heading on over to number six, we have Ryan Bain. And first of all, he did a water bottle trick shot and it landed on the cap. And then he also did a flip with a marker and landed that as well, which is just, you'll see what I mean here in a second. It's hard to explain. In the number five spot, we have Ryan Bracken, and get this, he threw a bottle up at a basketball hoop, and it landed on the very back part of the rim, but it didn't land on like the base part, it landed on the cap, which makes it even more insane. Dude, upside down. Upside down. Dude. What? That is insane. <laughs> what? You see it? Yeah. <laughs> Moving on to number four, we have Phase K, and this one was completely luck. Like, there was nothing else to it. Uh, he just threw up a bottle behind him, and it landed up on top of his shelf. And get this, it was all while he was live streaming. So, like, everyone in the chat just went batshit crazy. <laughs> I know you guys feel that. But watch this. Under the leg. No. Nothing, man. Oh my god, that landed! That landed! Oh my god! Yo, look! I'm moving the hat! Look, that ball landed! That fucking landed! Oh my god! <laughs> no way! In the live stream! Holy shit! It landed exactly like that! Oh my god! Heading on over to number three, we have How Ridiculous, and this one's kind of like a little double one because uh, the first clip is of them throwing a water bottle out of a moving truck onto a table, which is pretty insane, and then the second one is them throwing it up on top of a light post, and I think that's just crazy because I don't even have a clue how many tries it took them, probably a lot. <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> Moving on to number two, we have Olivia and Maddie, and these two girls just blew up all over Twitter the other day. I, I remember seeing this myself before I even had the plan to make this video, and I just thought it was pretty crazy because these two girls, they threw their water bottle onto the counter, and uh, they landed on top of each other in a way that you probably wouldn't expect, I'd say, and I don't think they were really expecting it to happen either. They just fucking happened. And finally, in the number one spot, we have That's Amazing again. This kid just props to him because he's really good with this stuff. Uh, he basically, what he did was he was on the ground and he threw one water bottle, had it flip, and then uh, threw the other one on top of it so that they landed cap to cap. So, like, the cap was on the other one's cap. I, I don't know. I sound really repetitive. I can't explain things like this very well. You got to see it. Those are all the clips that I have for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to drop a like on the video. Let's try to break 7,500 likes. That would be insanely awesome. I really appreciate that, you guys. And also, comment down below and tell me if you've done any like insane water bottle trick shots yourself. Also, feel free to tell me which one of these trick shots you thought was the most insane and you thought was the luckiest, because uh, I'm curious to see which one you guys thought was the best. Anyways, for now, i got to get going, because I've got like six hours worth of shit to do, and it's, uh, it's about 8 o'clock, so uh, rip. Fuck. I'll uh, see you guys later. Chabang, bitches.